Hi everyone! So today I'm going to be showing you how to make this super cool rose pop bracelet. So this design was originally created by a bananas bought a, or underscore looms with a Z. I'll have um, a little thing right here that has the name on it. Um, that has their name on it. So give them a follow if you liked this design already. So this is the original design, and this I made a variation of using Yarn Journey's wonderful rose bud or rose flower um, flowers. So I just put five of them on here. If you want to do this, you can attach them. You can attach charms. You can attach, I don't know, any other little things to this. I just um, made this one because I thought it would be really cool. But this is the original design. So I would not call this design reversible because of the um, roses that pop up. That's why it's called Rose Pop. <laughs> um, today I'm really not going to be using um, rose-ish colors, but that's what it is. So this bracelet is really simple to make. You'll only need one loom in this dagger configuration, so pretty much any loom will work for this. You're also going to need a hook and a C-clip, or an S-clip, whatever clips, it looks like that. I don't have one with me right now, but that's what it's going to look like. So let me show you um, your the supplies, well, the, the bands you'll need. Okay, so there's like a strip of light right here. Don't bother with it. So this is my neon blue bands that I'm going to be using for the border. The border here is the yellow. I'll be using... 28 of these, 26 for the border, one for the cap in, and one for taking off. I kind of did that reverse. Oh, and then that, I'll show you later. And then I'll be using 12 glitter white bands for the center. The center here, I have um, like a pearl pink right here. So that's what I'll be using up the center. And the you will need 32 caramel. You'll need 10 for the... Um, these right here, these rosebuds, and you'll need um, 22 others to um, be the green, right, or the teal that I have right here. And then, of course, you'll need some fuchsia bands or whatever colors you want your roses to be. So I have, oh, sorry, here, I have two bands here, but that's because I made eight already. I already pre made eight bands or eight wrapped bands, and I'll show you how to make two more. So you will need 10 of the fuchsia bands. So this bracelet is not very band consuming. It's actually a pretty nice bracelet. Um, so let's just go ahead and get started. So you're going to want to have your loom set up like this. Air is pointing away from you. And we're going to take our border colors or border color and just make a simple border. So you go out to the left and out to the right. And then you will continue going up on your loom until you reach the, the second to last pins up here. So I'm going to do that pretty quick. Well, I'm going to try to do it pretty quick. It's a really simple border. So remember, if you need to pause the video, you can at any time. I'm actually going to start back down over here because I want to put the left one in first. But remember, you can pause or speed ahead in this video anytime if you want, because if I'm going too slow or too fast, you can always um, edit the video, I guess. Well, not edit the video, but move the video along at your own pace. Okay. And then once you get to these second to last pins on the left and the right, you're going to take two more bands and go in from the left and in from the right. Okay? So your loom should look like this. Simple. Okay? Now we're going to take the center bands, the glitter white for me, and you're just going to go from this pin all the way up to this pin. Oops, this pin, sorry. In a straight line. Nothing special, just kind of like a single chain. But as you can see, as you may have seen in the original bracelet that I have, 
it does um, prove a or does give a purpose, I guess. I don't know how to like phrase it, but it serves a purpose in making this bracelet look nice. Okay, once you've placed your last bands up there, we're going to now start on the rose buds. So I've already made eight of these, and I'm going to show you how to make two more, and I'll show you how to place them on your loom. So you're going to take one of your fuchsia bands and make a cap band on your hook, and then take both of those and double it again so you have four loops on your hook. Then you're going to take one of your caramel bands and you're going to just simply pull that band onto the caramel band like this. And we're going to place this on your loom after we make, um, after you make 10 of these and we place our caramel bands because I forgot we have to place the caramel ones first and then we can place these. So I'll show you how to make this one and then I'll show you how to place the other caramel bands. So just double it, take that doubled and double it again. So now you have four rings. Take a caramel band and slide that one wrapped band onto your hook. Now, if you don't have a holding hook, you can just set them aside. It's not going to hurt it. Just, you know, set them like this. Just don't pull on them if you don't want them to come undone. So, now we're going to place our caramel bands. So, you're just going to take one caramel band at a time. And the first one we're going to place is from the left into the center. And the second one is from the right into the center. And you might suspect we're going to do this same process all the way up your loom. It's very simple um, placing, but it's a very cool design once you finish it. And if you don't want to use caramel bands on your fuchsia, like with your fuchsia, that's fine. You can use any color bands you want. I just like to use the same colors as I'm putting here because if I don't, then I feel like it, it doesn't look as good. But it's totally up to you because you're the one making the bracelet. So, putting, oops. So if um, you used all your caramel bands, or if you counted them out, your last two will go here. All right, we're not going to place any on here because there's already two blue bands like this. So this is what your loom should look like, okay? And now we're going to place the um, rose buds, I guess. So this is kind of hard for me to do because I have to use both my hands and hold the loom up. So you're just going to take one of your bands, one of your wrapped bands, and you're not going to place it on the first peg. You're not going to do this. You're going to start from where the caramel starts into a point, and you're going to attach it to there, and then up one. You'll do the same thing right here. Up there, and up. And you'll keep placing this until you have all of your caramel bands done in a line. If you made the correct amount, you should your last band should be placed from here to here. We're not placing any in, in here. Okay, so I am going to continue to place these bands. If you need to pause the video to make your wrapped bands, you can do that. I'm not going to skip ahead when I'm placing these. I'm just going to continue placing them up my loom. And what I did for the flowers, if anybody is wondering, I did a flower and then a wrapped band and then a flower and then a wrapped band in a pattern just so that there wasn't so many flowers crammed together. I think it looks better with them spaced out. But credits go to Yarn Journey for making that flower, by the way. I, don't, I think I already said that, but it's just a wonderful flower. And you can use any of the flowers they make or you can use your own design to just put on here. 
it's totally up to you how you want to decorate this. I'm just making this simple version. Okay, and then my last band is going to be placed, like I said before, from here and up to here. Okay, I'm all out of fuchsia and caramel bands, just like this. And now we're going to turn our loom around so that the arrows are pointing towards us and start looping. I want to place a cap band right here on the end. This is one of your 28 blue bands or border bands. So just place the cap band there. And I'm going to move some of the stuff out of the way so that we can start looping. So go under the blue cap band and grab that top um, glitter white or whatever color you're using and pull it forward. Now what we're going to do is go back in, pull up, out the next blue out to itself. Ooh, mine's really twisted. I don't like them twisted. And go back in, grab the other blue, pull it out to itself. And then we're going to go ahead and pull the bottom blue from here, that's the border, up. And the bottom blue on this side, up. Now we're going to go in and grab the one caramel that's right there. And we're going to bring it into the center, like that. And do the same thing on the other side by bringing the other caramel into the center. Now what we're going to do is grab... Um, the rose band, the band with the rose on it, and it can be kind of hard to see because it is um, a caramel band amongst other caramel bands. So it should be the bottom one. Okay, maybe it's not. Um, just give me one second. My hook is stuck. I don't like that. Okay, I have no clue where my caramel band is because all of my bands are all twisted up. This is not something you want to do, by the way. So if you can find the band, I can't even see any of this. If you can find the band that it's on, go ahead and pull it forward. I might even have to go off camera for this. Nope, that's the wrong band. Okay, sorry about that. My caramel band with the rose on it totally, like, got messed up, and it was so horrible. I almost considered deleting this video, but I just figured I'd skip it. <sighs> so you're going to take this caramel band, bring it in to the center. Oh, and then I forgot to loop this one back up. And then um, loop the other caramel band into the center. I'm really hoping I can find the right caramel band. Because it should be under the, so the two that you just pulled in go under. What the heck is going on outside my window? Okay. Um, and then grab the next band. It should be the band with the rose on it. Pull it forward like this. And now what we're going to do is pull the blue bands forward. And I think... Um, I actually don't know. Okay. I think what we're going to do 
Yeah, I know what we're going to do. Okay. So pull the caramel band from the side into the center. And pulling that um, white band up first was just for the beginning because we had to have something there. So once your both of your caramel bands are pulled into the center and your rose band is pulled up, you're going to go under all the bands down here and grab the, uh, the white band and pull it up. Okay, so then what we're going to do is go under the two caramel bands and under the white band and grab that next top band, which should be the band with the rose on it, and pull it up. And then what we're going to do is pull up both of the blue bands on the sides and push the band down so we can pull the other caramel band bands into the middle like that and then we can go back and go under all the rest of them grab the glitter white and pull it forward and the camera keeps shifting so it can get kind of confusing but what we're going to do is always remember to pull up the blue band after you put the white band down pull up the next blue band and then you're going to go in and pull up the rose and then you're going to go inside of the blue band grab the caramel pull it down and pull the other one down then you're going to go back and find that bottom white band the glitter white for me pull it up and you're going to repeat this process until you've looped all of your bands so, loop up the blue on both sides, and then go back and loop up the rose, then loop the caramel into the center, then go all the way under, grab the bottom white, pull it up, and repeat blue, blue. rose oops caramel caramel and if I can get under there the white okay so I'm going to try to go a little bit faster now so that I can show you what to do next I'm not really going to give them any instructions um, if you need to pause the video or rewind because I'm going too fast, if you need to speed up because I'm going too slow, you can uh, you can totally do that because, you know, I'm not the one controlling your pace. You are the one controlling your pace. Oops. And sometimes, um, if you watch me do videos on I'm doing something like, like I'm not giving instructions, sometimes I'll do things out of order, but, um, like I know what I'm doing most of the time. Um, so if I'm doing something out of order, I'm sh I think I know if I'm doing it out of order, but it usually ends up being, you know, perfectly fine because, um, I end up doing the right thing, like... I just, maybe I loop up the rose before the blue bands, or the blue bands before the rose. Just doesn't really matter sometimes. Sometimes it does. And so, going to pull up the blue bands, and then up, and then pull up the rose, and then pull the caramel into the center. Grab that white pull it up, push it down, okay? Then, while you're when you're at the end, you're going to just grab the two side blues and pull them into the center, and then you're going to go under all of those caramel bands, grabbing the white, and pull it up. Now you can start to pull this off of your loom, but this isn't really the end of the video yet, 
because I have to show you um, what to do with the roses. Because sometimes the roses don't actually pop like they're supposed to. So I'm going to try and take this off my loom without breaking anything. That includes my loom. Okay, that would be my base plate. Um, so as you can see, this looks horrible, like absolutely horrible. And it'll naturally curl like this into a bracelet. So what you're going to want to do with your roses is take the white band and put it on either side of the roses and then pull the roses up so that they're up higher than the white bands. So, and the white bands will hold them in. Okay. Don't try to pull up the caramel ones, just the um, roses. Okay. This, there's two loops down here that aren't getting pulled up. The caramel is, and that annoys me so much. Okay. So I'm going to continue pulling my roses up. You can either watch me do this, or you can do this yourself. And sometimes if they fall back in, you just have to push them up, pull them up. And sometimes they really just don't want to come up, and you have to force them. And it looks really ugly before you make it pretty. Because the they all get skewed when you pull off of when you pull it off of the loom, they all get mixed up. So it's difficult. And then if you kind of pull on it a little bit, you'll see it's starting to look decent. Um, I can always do this later. I just have a couple more to do. So I'm going to start the end of my video now by saying thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel for more awesome videos. I try to post as many videos as I can all the time. Um, I will have school though, so videos will not be as common then. And then once you're done, looks like this. Looks alright. I still have to do more stuff to it. Like pull on the roses still. But, um, make sure to subscribe. Make sure to follow A Bananas Looms. And I will have my links down in the description box below. Below. Um, <laughs> So, thank you for watching, and I hope I'll see you next time.